Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be guiding you through five essential steps that will help you craft SEO optimized articles, local articles that rank high on Google using AI. I'll also be going through and sharing the exact prompts that I use myself for creating local articles and showing you how, how you can customize them for your own needs. So let me start by sharing six key elements that need to be included in local articles. You need to include local citations, relevant entities, LSI terms, NAP citations. You need to make sure that you're targeting the right search intent and target market. And you need to include and customize the article with your own business details. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna be going over the prompt that I use myself to create local SEO optimized articles. These are the kind of articles that I create when, when I want to post content to my Google Stacks, for example, when I work with tools like G Links Pro. Okay, so here's the exact prompt. So you're an SEO expert specializing in keyword research, content writing, and human psychology. Your task, write a well-optimized article targeted towards homeowners, renters, and landlords who may require the following services, keywords. So this is gonna be replaced with whatever keyword you're actually targeting. So for example, plumbing. Okay, article structure, title. The article's title should be keyword services in Peterborough area. So for example, plumbing services in Peterborough area is for example, Breton. Okay, an area inside of the city. The formatting requirements. Use markdown formatting to structure the article. Use lists where, rel when relev where relevant to present information clearly. Highlight important words using bold italic, italic and bold italic formatting to create emphasis. Write in short, simple sent sentences to ensure the language is easy to understand. Limit paragraph length to a maximum of three sentences. Include lists wherever possible to break up the text and enhance readability. Now we're going to give it the content guidelines. Okay, integrate entities from the provided list into headings throughout the content. We're going to provide entities down below. Include LSI terms naturally within the content to enhance SEO. Incorporate local attractions, landmarks, or points of interest near the specific area, area within city to create relevance for local readers. So for example, within near the specific area, Eastgate area within Peterborough, okay? Aim to reference locations within a five mile radius of the area or directly in the target area itself. So if you're living in a larger city, you might want to up this to like 10 mile radius. If it's a, sh a smaller city, you might wanna reduce it to a one mile radius or even just only include it in the target area itself. Okay, use different local attractions in this article compared to previous articles for variety. And then you've got the op SEO optimization instructions. Add the keyword phrase as a prominent subheading, for example, plumbing services in Peterborough Eastgate within the middle of the article. Ensure the article's content is fully optimized for search engine visibility using keyword placement strategies and naturally integrated LSI terms. Okay, and here's the personalization details. Personalize the article using the business details provided. We're gonna provide it business details. Include my contact details in the article in the same way I have included it. This will be used as a NAP citation. Maintain a, maintain a conversational tone that highlights the business's unique services without including any direct contact details. Okay, article length. Create a unique high quality article of approximately 2,000 words. It never creates 2,000 words, guys, unless you're going to break it up. So this is actually going to create something about 600 to 900 words, sometimes a little bit more. Okay, ensure this article is distinct from previous articles. Okay, and required input. So now we need to feed the entities the list of entities, we need to feed it the list of LSI terms, LSI terms, and we need to feed it business details as well. And then it says, please deliver the article in the required, in the requested format without any notes and explanations about what you're doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and work with this. And let me show you how to do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this keyword with my actual keyword. So I'm gonna go over to replace, and I'm gonna go ahead and replace this with plumbing. Okay, replace. Oops, I'm going to replace all, sorry. And then I'm going to go ahead and replace city, okay, with the actual city that I'm targeting, which is Peterborough, for example. Okay, and I'm going to replace all. And then I'm going to go ahead and replace area with the actual area that I'm targeting as well. So, for example, in this occasion, we'll say Breton. 
okay and I'm gonna go ahead and replace all so now all we need to do is go ahead and add our business details LSI terms and list of entities so I've already got my business details down here so I'm gonna show you how they are so you should be adding your details in the same kind of manner as well so I'm saying contact details for NAP citation and I'm adding in my business details or with the NAP citation itself and in the business details I'm giving it some details about the business I'm making notes of what we do and then the services that we provided as uh, the services that we provide as well the more details that you can provide the better the article is going to be tailored towards your needs and towards your business needs so I'm going to replace this short code here with my business details now we want to go ahead and get a list of entities and a list of LSI terms you can use tools like the entity keyword explorer if you like but just to make this video simple I'm gonna go ahead and use GPT so I'm gonna say um, provide me with a list of the top 20 entities related to the keyword plumbing okay I'm gonna stop that and I'm gonna quickly say um, provide the list of entities only one per a line and nothing else hopefully it will just give me entities one per line here we go okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy these entities oops I'm going to go ahead and copy these entities and I'm going to go ahead where it says entities in here I'm going to go and replace them and now I need to get LSI terms provide the top 20 LSI terms one per a line okay so now we're getting the top 20 LSI terms and I'm going to copy these and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace all these LSI terms here and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy the entire prompt and I'm gonna go over to chat GPT I'm gonna open up a new chat and I'm gonna go ahead and click on I'm just gonna paste it in and click on enter okay and now what we're gonna be able to see is is creating the entire article for us plumbing services in Peterborough Britain okay as a homeowner whatever 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 okay and then it's going ahead and adding in some details about what we do okay why choose plumbing heroes obviously it's that's what we've called the company plumbing heroes okay um, it's adding in some nice LSI terms and entities down here as well nice lists in here as well paragraphs are nice and short okay and if you have a look down here it's also making notes of common plumbing issues a lot of these are actually about services that we provide okay and if you continue reading this it's actually pretty cool and as you can see we've got a nap citation here I'm just trying to look for the local attractions down here to point them out to you here we go okay nearby you can enjoy scenic places like Peterborough Cathedral Neen Park okay Breton Park Breton Center okay this is brilliant stuff guys because Peterborough isn't a very large city um, and it's picked up Breton Park which is a pretty big park near Breton and Breton Center which is a central place as well okay so this is really really cool guys and all you have to do is just come into this prompt and change it every time you want to create an article for a different area or for a different city and for a different service okay so um, I like to create these kind of articles guys when I create my Google stacks as mentioned when I'm working with Google sites Google blogger Google cloud you, you know Google Drive and Google Sheets and Google Docs and whatever that G links Pro does this is how I create my articles um, in fact what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I create tens and fifteens and hundreds of articles automated using the prompt generator AI and the reason I want to do this guys is because I just want to show you how it can save you lots of time and effort when using something automated so I've got this exact strategy inside of here okay and you can see this down here it's actually with the short codes here keyword and then it's got the city area and everything okay and it's the exact same prompt that I just showed you just now um, feeding the LSTI terms list of entities and everything as well um, and what this allows me to do is it allows me to add all my details inside a short code so for example I've got my city Peterborough okay I've got areas in here I all I have to do is add lists of areas so I could have something like 50 areas in here and create 50 articles um, using the same strategy okay I've got my list of entities in here as well and I've got my list of LSI terms in here as well and I've also got my business details in here as well exactly the same business details that I just showed you okay um, services provided Peterborough here Peterborough plumbing heroes okay and what this allows me to do now is for example create three articles if I wanted to and just select the strategy and click on start as an example okay I'll, I'll let this run now and you can see exactly how this works and what this does is this is actually gonna save everything 
to separate files and these separate files are perfect for me to add to tools like G Links Pro um, and get everything you know all my content created for me so then I'm using Google properties which have authority okay and I'm using content which is fully optimized with local articles look my nap citations in there as well so I'm getting citations from these Google properties um, and I'm using automation to create my articles really really fast guys okay so we'll let this complete so we can see exactly how long it takes to create three articles um, at the moment what you're seeing is we're using prompt generator AI with the chat interface when you're working with the chat interface then you can actually automate this with five different AI engines but this also works with the API so if you don't want to wait around and watch everything work um, then you can just go ahead and have this work with the API and it works with all of these the API's here and it also works with custom API's like open router so you can work with things like you know whatever it is that you want Meta Llama and all these other engines. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just show you how some of these articles look like um, and how cool this is, guys, because I didn't have to do any copy and pasting. I didn't have to mess around with going over and finding other stuff. I've added my stuff in there, selected my strategy, and I've gone out there and automate all my articles. And this one here actually only works with one prompt. There's some strategies inside of here. For example, if I go over to... Um, this strategy here scrape Google um, this strategy here is made up of 10 prompts and these 10 prompts create me the one article so if I want to create 10 articles instead of me having to go over and you know do 10 prompts per article 10 prompts per article I just add it in here and automate the entire thing for me so let me go over to the editor and I'll import those articles in here so we can see them so this was the first article we created this is plumbing services in Peterborough Orton okay nice article down here 617 words got our citation in there as well okay and if i go over to the next article that we created this time it's plumbing services in peterborough breton okay and coming down here we've got some nice stuff going on here local nearby att attractions in breton as we already read in the, in the last one okay and we've got our nice citation in here as well okay if i go over to the next and final article that we created then this article here is P Peterborough Services in, in Peterborough, Breton, sorry, in Dogsthorpe. Okay, and if you have a look down here, we've got some nice um, citations in there as well, local citations, and we also have our NAP citation in here as well. This one is 934 words. So this is why I like to use Prompt Generator AI. In fact, I think this is my very most used tools tools out of all of my tools that I use then I use the prompt generator AI it creates me articles for local articles that I can use on blogs that I get links from it creates me articles that I can create on my own own sites it does my keyword research for me it does my competitor analysis for me it actually goes and gets keywords from multiple search for multiple AI engines evaluates them all clusters them and does all sorts of things for me through all of these strategies um, that we're able to create down here okay so if you haven't already got access to prompt generator AI then have a look down below this video and you'll see a link um, to get access to it but this is how I create my articles using the six key ingredients for local articles guys okay so you can share I'm gonna share this entire prompt with you below this video as well I'm also gonna share this strategy with you inside of the Facebook group if you're not already in our AI SEO Facebook group guys then find a link below this video and you'll be able to join that as well so anyway I really hope you enjoy this video and I hope it's gonna enable you to create local articles that are optimized uh, to rank inside of Google.